Pop TV, and I am sitting here with the fabulous, the beautiful. Can you guys just check her out right now? Aww. Julia, look, how are you doing today? I'm stoked. Okay, so quick little like recap about how we met. We actually met at a private event at Kiss FM last week, and we just start hitting it off. I mean, actually, we tweeted a little bit before because we yeah. didn't know like how to get there and a whole bunch of stuff. But long story short, during our conversation, she actually revealed to me that she was a contestant on the X Factor USA, which is a very popular show here in the United States and abroad. So I felt like it would be the perfect way to kind of, you know, get your name out there on the map, inspire you guys as viewers if you are ever wanting to get into that kind of show. And we're just going to hop right into the interview. Are you excited? I am so excited. I am too. At what age did you discover that you wouldn't be a singer? Like, what, what landmark in your life was like, hey, I want to just go ahead and do this. This is my passion. Well, when I was about two years old, um, my dad, over there, there's my daddy. Hi, dad. <laughs> he would uh, play tons of music around the house. He was in a band when he was a teenager. And when I was um, about 13, or no, when I was in fifth grade, I went to my first concert, which was Green Day. Yes. And I was like, oh, I want to be in a band. Uh -huh. So I started my band, at, my first band at 13, and it just started going from there. Okay, so guys, like a lot of young artists nowadays, or, well, they're, they're a little older now, but Justin Timberlake, <laughs> Britney Spears, all of them started at a young age. Are there any, like, celebrities or anyone that started out that young that you look up to as inspiration for, you know, keeping your career going? Because you don't want to be, the, you yeah. know, that star that almost had it and they just and gave they just, up when they're only, you know, they're young. Yeah. We're young. We're young. <laughs> We're young. Um, I would say Gwen Stefani. Because uh, she joined No Doubt when she was super young. And uh, they they got pretty big when she was in her 20s. And um, she just never stopped. And now look at her. Like, she's she, gorgeous. She's my idol. Everyone knows who Gwen Stefani is. Oh, yeah. So shout out to Gwen. Shout out to No Doubt. We love you. What what made you want to audition for the X Factor in general? Because for me, I feel like a lot of those shows seem to be scripted and like they kind of like pre-program who they kind of want on the show. So it's it, it kind of deterred me a little bit from yeah. ever wanting to try. So what did you see a commercial for it? Like what was the whole process of you saying, "Hey, I want to do that"? Honestly, um, I, I was listening. My I was a voice teacher at the time. Oh, okay. And um, one of my students was listening to One Direction, and she gave me a magazine, and I was reading this whole thing on One Direction, and saw that they got big from X Factor, and I was like, huh, maybe I should try that. And I mean, I wasn't gonna do it until, I mean. I think it was like a week before I was like, okay, maybe I should do this. And I just scrambled and scrambled and procrastinated, but I'm glad I did it. That is amazing. Guys, there are so many artists that come out of this show. We have One Direction, Cher Lloyd. A lot of them seem to be more on the UK side of things, because yeah. Leona Lewis, all those guys. Um, are there any of the previous contestants that have gone on, like Chris Renee, all that kind of stuff? Have you ever like interacted with them or like... What do you think about their current careers? Um, I haven't interacted with them, but I think Chris Renee, he's he's a great guy. Great heart, I feel yeah, like. No yeah. No matter what happens, I feel like the show didn't change him or yeah. anything like that. It made him, so. it, it, I think it kind of bettered him. Like, right. it gave him hope, you know. Exactly. So I say it's a bad thing because clearly she's up to so much, which we're going to talk about later in the interview. But unfortunately, Julia did not make it onto the live shows. But I want to know just how was the overall experience with X Factor? I'm sure you met a ton of people. Yeah. Like, just tell us like how you felt going home after being cut there you know I met so many people and you get so close during boot camp because you're in a war together you right. know um, after the second day you guys become like this you know everything about each other um, so going home I was really really I'm not gonna lie I was um, really sad and yeah, bummed because I, I was imagine. like what did I do wrong right. and that that whole question that that question kept going through my brain every day, all day, and then finally I was just like, I just this is what they wanted. Right. You know? Well, because I mean, watching the show as an avid fan, you would see that there's only a tiny, tiny bit of you guys there. So, getting close like that, I'm sure it happens, but like, also the comparisons of each other and wondering like, you know, maybe I, I feel like I was better than that person. How did they advance in that kind of stuff? Yeah. So, as like I mentioned before, I'm also auditioning for the show, so I'm kind of like a little hesitant about like, you know, like, you know, Beyonce is like... <laughs> A crazy, Beyonce. crazy singer. I'm no Beyonce, but do I really take have what it takes to, you know, be the X Factor? So I, it's all relative in the situation and that kind of stuff. Yeah. She came out here to California, guys, to do some little creative development and just enlightening about what she wants to do with her career. So can you give us a little, you know, spiel about that and what's been going on um, here while you 
Yeah, well, I was, you know, I was in Charlotte and I was sitting there and I was like, I feel like I'm suffocating. Right. You know, so I was like, Dad, I gotta go to California. Turned out that I came uh, a week early uh, to be with my friend for some creative purposes, okay. uh, creative writing kind of thing. I attended the Grammys, which was fun, super fun. I was, I was outside, y'all, trying to pretend like I was something, you know, <laughs> you being were, a major. You but, were. Um, but how was that? Because I saw so many people like walk by and stuff, and I, being the newbie here that I am, it's all like, oh my gosh, that's a superstar. But It's weird to see it, because it's like, you know, you spend so many years watching it on TV, and then right. all of a sudden, it's like, that's how they do this? Right. You know, that's like, this thing. is what goes on? Like... Adam Levine's right there. Right. Adam <laughs> Levine, I love you. Oh, I love you. Um, and it's just like Bruno Mars, like you're shaking your right. finger right there. I'm like, holy cow, it's great. It was that's amazing. The time of my life. So you've been, you say you've been doing a little bit of writing out here. Have you met anyone that's like, besides at the Grammys or gone to any concerts or anything like that while you've been out here? We met Nelly. Hey. hey. Shout out to Nelly. He was awesome. I mean, and Asher Monroe. But everyone at Kiss FM. Shout out to Kiss FM. You guys were yeah. amazing. That was awesome. That, that was such a cool event. It was so exclusive. And I mean, I'm so, so grateful for it because intimate. we met. Yes. yes. <laughs> I just but literally, felt. how many people was in there? Like maybe like 10, 10. 9 to 10 of us. And 10. it was like. And you could bring one person. So right. I thought like there'd be 20. No, right. there was 10. <laughs> and I just sat there. I was like, wow. Well, I guys. Here comes my favorite part of the interview. As you guys know, I love games. So right now, Julia, we are going to be playing the five second name game. Oh Basically, I'm going to explain the rules. I'm going to shout out a random word. It could be a celebrity, it could be a food, it could be anything. You have five seconds to say the first thing that pops to your mind. I'm going to get anxious. The one thing I want you to be is honest. Don't honest. say what you think people want to hear. Just say the first thing that pops to your mind. Yeah, this Are you ready trouble. to play the five second names? It? Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Let's Here should be mine. All right, you ready? Favorite judge? Judy. How <laughs> was that expecting that? That's awesome. All right. <laughs> We're uh, well, all right. Um, let's go. See, now you got you just threw me out. Guilty pleasure rap song. Thrift shop. I love that. Yes, Macklemore. I actually just did a dance to that um, last week at the studio. Favorite food? Chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, Twix bar, Kit Kat. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> California. Hot. Saddle Ranch. Uh, Texas? <laughs> you never been to the Saddle Ranch? No. That's like one of the most popular restaurants here. Like, a oh. lot of people just come here. They have one at, um, I think, Sunset. Let me just stop really? pretending like I know where the directions are. I should go to Saddle Ranch. But yeah, also at Universal City Walk. So That's what we saw, I think. Probably. Yeah. They have you ride the pool, and there's like a I bunch of like fried food and all that kind of stuff. So, pool ride. You should go there before you leave. Music. Rock, dance, pop, alternative. Yeah. Y'all heard it from her. <laughs> I don't want to wrap up this interview because I feel like I just could sit here all day with yeah. her because she's amazing. But one last thing, I want you to tell our viewers how they can reach you, whether it's Twitter, oh, you have a Facebook, YouTube page, all that kind of stuff. We're going to be posting the links below, but I want you to kind of say it from you too. Find me on Twitter, Julia underscore Bullock. Yes. Instagram, just straight up Julia Lauren. Facebook, Julia Lauren one. One one. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and YouTube Julia Lauren one two one. And then what can we expect on like your YouTube channel? Because a lot of people like like me do vlogs and that kind yeah. of stuff. And a lot of people just do straight up covers or own their own original music. So what can people look for when they look for you on? Right now, I think I have three covers okay. and three vlogs. Um, I'm really slacking a lot. I need right. to do a vlog right now. Uh, might do that today. Uh, but you'll see more covers and more music very soon. I swear. Right. I swear. Well, I am personally so excited for her journey. I mean, guys, this is just the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing her just killing it. And hopefully, I know you're going back home, right, very soon? Don't yeah. tell me. Well, Don't hopefully me. she'll be back out here with me having a blast, and we're going to take over the city. Yeah. But with that being said, I'm Jeremiah. I'm Julia. And you guys are watching Tectonic Pop TV. Make sure you subscribe. Have an awesome and amazing day. Woo! And we love you guys. Mwah. Holla. Mwah. Bye. Oh, it's recording again. I did not know. Fun. You know that song? No. Oh, Why don't you give our viewers a little taste of it? Oh, Start no. over again. Like I know the words. <laughs>
Wow, all right. Um, let's go. See, now you got, you just threw me out. Oh, my God. You wanted my favorite X Factor judge. I said oh. Judge Judy. <laughs> but literally, like, I, everything just escaped my mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Uh.